Hey, 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 it's that time again. Let's talk trash. It's the February empties and I can't even lift up the bag to show you because I will have an avalanche of empties. There's that many. Let's just get started with a candle. This is the Villa Bergamot and it is described in this way. Aromatic bergamot grown in the warm and sunny Calabria or Calabria region of Italy provided the inspiration for this elegant citrus blend that also includes lavender and geranium. I love it. Earl Grey tea is my favorite tea, so anything that smells like bergamot always works for me. Use up these lashes. I'm actually wearing them right now and they're just on their last legs, so when I take them off today, I'll throw them out. These were the J Cats eyelashes. I think I got these in an Ipsy bag. They're okay. You know, I'm not going to write home to mom about them. They did all right. This is an interesting empties. If you recall in the Sephora Favorites Glitzy Glam bag that I got there right around the holidays, there was this beautiful Stila eyeshadow that was like a cream colored and it, it just left like this beautiful, I don't know, sparkly, gorgeous, creamy shadow on the lid and I was like, oh my god, this is so beautiful. And then I thought to myself, wait a minute, I think I bought that before. And I looked at my collection, sure enough, I had bought it in the color silver. And it came with this mixing medium. I had only ever used it once. So when I went back to pull it out, the mixing medium is completely gone. It is totally evaporated. There's just a little dollop of what looks like hard glue in the bottom. Use that once and the rest of it disappeared on me. Not impressed. And the shadow, which I can't remember how much I paid for this. Uh, eh, 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 eh. It's completely dried out. I can't get anything out of that. In fact, it even is starting to like look an odd color around the edges. So as much as I love that steel of shadow, I'm glad that that kit only provided it in a tiny little sample because I'll use it up and get rid of it because this has no shelf life. This is my favorite Bath and Body. This is my favorite Bath and Body Works scent. This is the Vanilla Bean Noel. This was the body lotion. Loved it. Used it last year. The year before that. We'll use it again. Another candle. The labels on the candles this winter season out of the park. This one's called Ski Lodge. It has a gorgeous picture of a ski lodge, and they describe it thusly. A fragrance inspired by a cozy winter getaway from the tall evergreen trees to the comforting warmth of the wooden lodge. Smoky vanilla, deep green cypress, and rich agar wood. So if you, like me, are too dirt broke to be taking some big hacienda ski lodge weekend in the Alps, you can just get the candle. I would definitely buy that one again next year. I just opened up a new uh, beauty blender. There were two in here and the one that's getting thrown out is in the empties bag. You'll see it in a moment and I've just opened the other one. Love the beauty blender. There is no comparison. The closest one that you can get is the Real Techniques, but I still don't like it as much as I absolutely love my beauty blender. I will always buy those. Another candle. This one I think I picked up last holiday season but didn't burn it till now. It's hot buttered rum and they describe it as an indulgent blend of buttered rum, vanilla, and a hint of smooth caramel that's perfect for your winter party. And I like these because they have like confetti type uh, labels on them and it smelled just like buttered rum. It was delicious. This was really good. Um, I usually use the Zoya nail polish remover, but because I love Formula X nail polish so much, I thought I would give this a try. It is almost as good as the Zoya. I'm, I wouldn't say quite as good, but almost. It's the X Formula for Sephora Delete nail polish remover, and it has the great little push down cap. This is an oldie, but a goodie that I'm saying goodbye to. I should have had my other one in here to show you, but I'll show it to you in another video. Um, your straighteners after a while do have to be chucked out. These ceramic pads start to lose their smooth slip. You'll, you might not even notice it until you put a new one on your hair and you're, it's like whoosh! Oh wow, the old one really was starting to lose some of its, you know, its Teflon coating or whatever. Heather Dello got me this, oh my goodness, before she even got married, so... I'm going to say seven years ago, so I use this for a good long time. It's just now starting to lose a bit of its effectiveness. This one was, I would totally, totally um, recommend it. Um, let me just see what the, it's the T3 100% tourmaline 
uh, high tech for hair and it served me well for many 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 years so I highly recommend this. The one I got though is that GHD one. You know there's two of them on Sephora right now. One fades from blue to green and one from pink to orange. It's really hard for me to decide which one but Denise was like pink and orange is your favorite color combination. Go with it. And that's what I did and I'm glad I did. It's beautiful. Like I said I'll show it to you in another video. I uh, used up a Kevin Murphy conditioner. This is the Angel Rinse for fine colored hair. Denise mostly used this and she actually likes it better than the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Conditioner. So that's saying something because she's used that for years. And the Kevin Murphy products are actually a little cheaper than Bumble and Bumble so that's a nice bonus too. Uh, these are my travel makeup remover wipes. It's the Yes to Cucumbers Soothing Hypoallergenic Facial Wipes. It's just in the small pack. I get them at Shoppers Drug Mart. I throw them in my travel bag and I used it up on this last trip because I was 11 days in Toronto. I used up this little candle which I got in a set of three. It's the Emma Hardy candle. And if you use the Emma Hardy uh, facial balm, cleansing balm, and you love the smell of it, these candles, smell just like it and I love it. I've got one left. I'm sort of like, you know, holding it out, but really nice. I ordered those from, I think, Looks Fantastic or something, one of those UK sites. Oh, we use this up in the holiday season. We use one of these just about every holiday season. It's the Peppermint Stick 3-in-1 Shower Gel, Bubble Bath, and Shampoo. It's lovely. The only thing is, you do have to be a little bit careful because it does sometimes make your hooter feel like it's on fire because that super pepperminty um, thing, it's like, I'm like, oh my God, my hoo-hoo is chewing gum right now. That's what it, you know, that super dentine ice gum, it felt like my vagina was chewing that. So um, if you're prone to yeast infections, I would like keep it out of that region, if you know what I'm saying. But on the rest of your body and certainly in your nasal passages, nothing will wake you up in the morning quite like that peppermint stick uh, shower gel. I, I've never met a philosophy shower gel I didn't love. These are the Lovey Dovey and Cocos. It's what I have on right now. Some of them are just pale pink with hearts and then some of them have hearts all over like these. And these are part of the Valentine collection from this year. Use up a pair of Quo 804s. Love these. This is the old, old packaging. So, you know, I'm getting down to the bottom of a lot of my collection. Oh, this is really lovely. This is the um, glazed apple or is it glazed apple or frosted apple? I forget which, what it's called. Um, so, yeah, glazed apple. Uh, it was a bath jelly and it was just like jelly. It was like scooping a piece of jello out and then you put it under the water and it uh, made a really nice bubble bath. But the smell of this is what makes it a winner. It's ooh, one of my favorite body shop holiday smells in a while. Sarah Fleming, you must be just having having a woody, popping some ladywood because I give Sarah my empty jars when I'm done with them. There's a lot of them in this one. This is the evergreen scented candle. Lovely little holiday motif on the label. Uh, evokes the magic of tracking through fresh snow to find the perfect holiday tree. Fresh fir balsam infused with sparkling mint and white pine. Well, I don't know about all that because I have a big white fluorescent artificial Christmas tree that um, I sit on the couch while Denise treks through the uh, storage room to pull out. But when you burn this, it makes it seem like you have a real tree. So used up one of these. Um, this is again for my travel pack. These are the wet ones antibacterial. I totally antibacterialized my hotel room as soon as I arrived with these, particularly the light switches, door handles, taps, uh, switches on all of the uh, lamps. And then I actually use a brand new one to completely do the remote because that's where they find the most fecal matter people. So I do not want other people's fecal matter on my fingers. These labels, would you? This is mahogany teak wood. Again, it just shows a lovely like sort of ski lodgy look. Um, the cozy blend of fine mahogany, cedar oak and relaxing lavender is like snuggling up in the lodge after a day on the slopes. You know what this made me think of? It made me think of my dad. It sort of had that smell of, of men and you know, Denise and I are two women so we don't have that manly smell. Uh, and in fact, our closest friends are a couple of dudes, but they don't wear that kind of scent. So it did just remind me a lot of my dad, which was kind of cool. Snow-kissed berry hand wash from Bath & Body Works. Lovely. Weekend apple picking hand wash. Lovely. Winter cranberry hand wash from Bath & Body Works. Lovely. 
And again, because I traveled so much, this was a tiny little travel mini of one of my favorite hairsprays. This is a Tresemme Treat 2 ha hairspray. This one, again, in the travel size, used it up. Used this up, and this was, I think, from an Ipsy bag. It's the Roseberry Hand Cream from Pure and Natural with Shea Butter, uh, Figs and Rouge. Lovely smell, lovely hand cream. And I used up a lot of these small sample size body lotions. Uh, when I was away because that's what I keep in my travel kit. This one's the Derma Doctor KP Duty Lotion um, and I think this one has a rooster on the front. I'm sure I'll find there's some kind of rooster technology. Um, it was lovely. Kept me nice and moisturized. I'll have you know I did not feel like a rooster. Just saying. This was the Brazilian Bombshell one from Derma Doctor. Skin Perfecting Body Lotion with Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Kept me nice and moisturized. Take a lot more than lotion to make my body perfect, you know? This is a duo I got in the Body Shop Advent Calendar last year. Had it in my travel kit. Used it up. <laughs> used it up um, when I was in Toronto. And put the ones I got this year right back into my travel kit. It's the Vitamin E Night Cream and Vitamin E Moisture Cream. It's a lovely combo of creams. If you want a nice, affordable cream that's gonna do the job, I really recommend going and getting these in full size from the Body Shop. Their entire Vitamin E line is fabulous. And think about Body Shop skincare, right? You're not gonna pay $220 for anything. It's affordable, reasonable. Here's a couple more in Cocos. Uh, falling flurries and feeling festive. Again, follow me on Instagram if you want to see what those look like. Now, because I spent so much time in the hotel, I went through a lot of these travel size candles. I'll just tell you what the names of them were. I love them all. Um, again, I always keep a candle this size in my travel pack because if you live in hotel rooms, you want them to smell like home. This one was uh, Market Peach, a favorite. Pink Petal Tea Cake, another favorite, which I missed in full size this summer. Fresh Sparkling Snow, nice seasonal one, and Vanilla Bean Noel, again, my favorite scent from the Bath & Body Works holiday scents. Also, while, tra while traveling, I used up one of these travel size Batiste dry shampoos. This is in the Clean and Classic Original. I still think Batiste is my favorite dry shampoo. It's nice and affordable, and to me, it just does the job. Went through a whole package of these. These are the Quo 80 Cosmetic Applicators. It's the little things that are like Q-tips, but they're made specifically for, you know, makeup kind of jobs, and I love them. I constantly have these on hand. This I have already in full size. One of my favorite skincare products, but I got this size in some kind of a sample kit or something. It's the Carez Greek Yogurt Advanced Nourishing Sleeping Facial. It's probably my favorite uh, overnight facial, and I use it pretty much every second night. I'm like halfway through the full size version of it already. I got these, I think, maybe Ipsy, maybe Lulu, one of those. It's, I think it's called Evolve H, Ultra Shine Moisture Shampoo, Ultra Shine Moisture Conditioner. It's all right. Again, I'm not gonna rush out trying to find these. They, they did the job. Love this, getting rid of it because it's past its three month date, but it's the They're Real by Benefit Mascara, of course, I'm sure you've all seen it, but it's got that wicked S&M kind of wand with the big, what to me looks like, um, what are those balls on the end of a chain that they killed people with back in the European days? Why can't I, why can't I think of the name of that? It's sweet. I mean, I watch movies like that all the time. What are they called? You know what I'm saying? They use them to maim people. Um, Denise will maybe look that up on her phone and I'll get rid right of back to you. Anyway, I have this in large. I love this. Got a couple of body butters that we buzz through. We use a lot of body butter, butter in the winter time because it's kind of thicker than lotion. In the winter, you get so dry. This is the mango body butter, one of my favorites. I can smell it just from the outside. It's lovely, and this is the, like the big size tub. And this, again, was that glazed apple that was part of their holiday collection. So nice. Oh, I used up uh, these Sephora lashes. They came in that Glitz Glam bag. But one of you sent me a message that there's some Sephora lashes on recall. So I got to go through my collection and see if I have any more tucked in there. Um, and thank you for sending me that heads up. Um, I just remember being in an airport and seeing it quickly on my phone, so I gotta go and seek it out and see which one of you sent that to me, but thanks for letting me know. I do love Sephora lashes, so I better make sure I'm not using one that's been recalled. This, the, a flail. Denise is saying it's called a flail, but it seems to me I've, I've heard it called something else. Like, not a to, mace, but... No, well, people, some people call that, but it's a, a flail's a weapon used during the Middle Ages, and it's a spike ball in the middle of a handle. There you go, so it's a flail. 
And it's also called a mace. There's two things. And a mace. A mace or a flail. No extra charge for the trivia. <laughs> <laughs> this is lovely and this is really sweet there is a spa just two doors down from me called infusion spa it's open seven days a week here on larry utech um in bedford slash halifax uh seven days a week is really convenient they have hair full aesthetics massage the whole bit anyway i was there one day for a pedicure when i was getting ready to take a flight and they ran a little late and they gave me a free glass of wine and then when i left they gave me this lovely uh stress fix body lotion uh like 85 0.85 fluid ounce sample and it's it was so nice i put this on at night in the hotel kind of helped me sleep because it has that lavender scent aveda i mean can't really go wrong had this candle in our bedroom i always keep smaller candles in our bedroom this was the market peach I will forever and ever and ever use Market Peach, one of my favorite scents. Letting this go, this is the Dior Addict It Flash. When will I learn? I cannot use colored mascara. Look how beautiful, it's cobalt blue, and I always think, oh, yeah, and then I buy them and I'm like, they look ridiculous on me, and I can never ever pull them off, but I still keep trying. Here's another lovely candle. This one is Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. The comforting sweetness of vanilla combines with a mouth-watering cloud of pumpkin marshmallow. That's pretty much what it smelled like. Went through an entire Josie Moran or Josie Marin 100% pure argan oil. You use this on my face. I love it. And in my travel kit, I always keep a mini body butter to use on my feet. And this one was the Righteous Butter from Soap and Glory. It is a sad, sad moment. I have come to the end of my benefit powder flage. I mourned it. I took a moment of silence. I am going to make a video, a dear benefit video about two benefit products that I think they came out with too soon and discontinued too soon. And this is one of them. You will not find a powder on the market better than this for setting your concealer under eyes. You will not find it. It was the most finely milled, beautifully illuminating sort of pale, pale, pale pink powder. Um, and it came in this cute little camouflage case when I got it. Denise got it for me for Christmas. Gosh, it must be three years ago. And they hardly kept it for a year. And it's, ugh, I'm using the Laura Mercier brightening powder to do that area now. And it's great, but that powder, I am seriously, I'm going to do a video to benefit begging them to bring it back with one other product. So stay tuned and see what that is. A couple of Denise products. This is her Eulage Emulsion Firming Smoothing Mattifying. It's a cream she uses in the daytime, baby. That one's night. Nighttime. She uses this at night. I don't know why she uses a mattifier at night, but she does. This is actually discontinued. This is what made her fall in love with the Aven products. It's the Triextera Emollient Cream Rich Formula Fragrance Free. Um, she loves it, but it's no more. I think she has one more, the rep here, through um, Shopping Drugmart on Larry Utah, and they left her one even though it's no longer available. Now, I love these Corez lip butters, and I have them in different colors, but I made a mistake. I let Denise try this one, which is the one that has no color. It's the, uh, there is actually a, yeah, guava. It's just the plain one. There's no color to it. She tried it. She's gone through, I think, two or three of them now. She absolutely loves it. I love it too, and I really love the ones that have color for like that no makeup makeup day. They're great. Used up a baby lips. I, I went right down to the nub on that. That was the baby lips in blush burst. And again, I just really love it as sort of a you know, a, a non-makeup day lip product. This was really great. It was from the Body Shop. It's the Vanilla Brulee hand cream. That was part of their holiday collection. The Ico Liquid Eyeliner Stick. Here's what I think about Ico. It's Ico London. When you first get them, they're fabulous. But these suckers dry out at the speed of light. Now, I've never actually bought one. They've all, I've got a metric ton of them. I was gonna say a mm, ton of them, but, um, I've got them all in either Lulu's or Ipsy bags or whatever. Um, yeah, great when you first use them, but they dry out really quick. So I don't know how much they actually cost in real life, but I hope they're not expensive. Got another candle here. This is Frosted Cranberry, my second favorite uh, holiday scent from Bath & Body Works. The Essence of Holiday Magic. A sparkling blend of white cranberry, juicy peach, raspberry, and true joy. There you go. Essence of true joy. This is the winter candle. This comes out pretty much every year. 
a fragrance that captures the essence of being in the mountains with bracing notes of pine needles, winter citrus, and white woods. Oh my goodness. This is so stinking expensive, but so fantastically fantastic. It's the Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner from Alterna. It's free of parabens, sulfates, phthalates, and synthetic color. Oh my god. I got like a little sample kit with like four products. I have another couple of samples this size. Oh, 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 oh. if you got some extra quid, drop it on this stuff. It's fantastic. This was a shower gel that we used. It's the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Uh, lovely shower gel. This is a great eye cream. It's the Origins Ginzig Replenishing Eye Cream to brighten and depuff. It's really nice and moisturizing and it lasts a long time. It's like a really good sized pot. I would definitely use this again. Body Shop Lip Butter. This one is in coconut. Highly recommend these. I like using them at night before bed. Denise likes using them all day, all the time. Oh, here is another one of those Derma Doctor. This one is the Shrinking Beauty. FYI, I did not shrink, y'all. I did not shrink. Room service did not allow me to shrink. I must have had French onion soup pretty much every day that I was in Toronto, so no shrinking was happening. But uh, they say this has um, firming, sculpting, and toning lotion with lobster-inspired technology. You heard it here first, folks. But they're super moisturizing, these things. Use this up. This was the CoverGirl uh, Blast Flip Stick. So it was the ones that had, like, it had like a super duper red on that side and then like just this creamy color on that side you're supposed to be able to create different looks hello as soon as you put that creamy color as soon as you touch it to the red it's covered in red you don't get the it's a gimmick don't buy one of these this was from that wow kit it's the celebrate body lotion from lush oh, like all lush body lotions it's heavenly they're just so expensive and we used up this eos i think this one's called melon this was cool. This was a beauty deal on Sephora. It's the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel, and it's a three-step, uh, one treatment. I don't know. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel. It's like three days of treatment, so you use it three days in a row, and it gives you a really nice exfoliation on the skin. I really, really liked it. I really like all this Dr. Dennis Gross stuff. Not very often I'll come to the end of a shadow palette, but I did with this one. I think I paid 99 cents for this. It was the e.l.f. Brightening Eye Color from way, way back in the number 10915. There's basically some browns and neutrals. They're great little shadows if you don't mind the fact that they're made like in China or wherever. I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom because again, it's too much. This video will be too long. Came to the end of this. It is the Glamour Gloss uh, Lip Gloss in the color Couture. It's like a gold gloss. If you ever use a Glamour Doll Eyes eyeshadow, there's like, she has a friend who sells homemade lip gloss on that site. It's called Glamour Gloss, and this is one of them. Really nice. They all smell like cherry. And I used up one of these. I put it back in the box because, of course, I bought a new one. So the box is from the new one, and then there's the product. It's the Clinique um, Bottom Lash Mascara Longwear Formula. I get it in the color black. Um, and it's just my favorite thing for my lower lash lines. I'm wearing it right now. It never ever smudges. It's so great. And the last product, I will leave the little bit that's left in the bottom of the bag for the March empties. It is a Kat Von D eyeliner. This is the Kat Von D Center Liner in Trooper. And it's one of those felt tip and it's a fatter felt tip. And yeah, all the Kat Von D eyeliners are fantastic so I know there's one the one with the brush tip everyone's going crazy for but I also like the felt tip ones so Whew. there you have it that was my empties for January is a lot of trash again there's still some in the bottom of the bag but to keep this from being an hour-long video I'll save that stuff for March thank you so much for watching if you enjoy the empties and all the information I provide make sure you give me a thumbs up share it with your friends and um, yeah I'll see you in the next video um, if you want to know what I'm wearing basically just I'll put my lipstick and the eye eyeshadow that I'm wearing um, in the description box below and I'll catch you in the next one see ya